The business have now requested a slightly different report. They'd like to see quarterly sales trends by region for 2015 and 2016. What we want to be able to do is actually focus on a subset of the data. And Pivots will allow us to do this using the Group, Sort and Filter tools. Let's see how they work. Now to begin with, having a look at the report we created last time, it's showing a breakdown by year, which is not going to be adequate. So we're going to come over to our field list, unselect year, and instead we're going to grab order date and drag it and drop it into the columns region. Now something interesting has happened. Rather than showing me each individual date as I would expect, it has automatically grouped those dates by year. Now if you have a slightly older version, this might not have occurred, and it's possible that you don't actually want this grouping. So the first thing we'll look at is how we can ungroup the data. So I'm going to click onto one of the year fields in my pivot, come up to my Analyze tab, and in the Group section, you'll see Ungroup. I'm going to click on that, and now I'm seeing each individual date from my original data set. Now that's actually no good to me at all. I definitely will need to group these dates if I'm going to get anything useful. But we want to group by quarter and year. So making sure you've clicked on one of the dates, come up to your Analyze tab, click Group Field, and we don't want to group by month, so I'm going to unselect that, and I'm going to choose Quarters and Years, and then click OK. And now I can see my data showing by quarter and year. So the group field works very well with both dates and numeric amounts if you need to group them. Once you've grouped data, you can also choose to collapse or expand the group. So for example, if I click on one of my dates, come up to my group field, just to the left of it, you'll see collapse, which then collapses the field, and expand, which expands to show the detail. I'm gonna collapse it again you can also expand just one of the values. So for example, to see my detail for 2015, I click on the plus, and again to collapse it, I click on the minus. So grouping data allows us to work with dates much more easily in a pivot. You will notice that pivot tables automatically sort the data by row and column label, which often is enough. But if you want to change the sort order, you can. And I would actually like to see total sales from smallest to largest by region. So I'm going to click into my grand total column because that's what I want to sort, come up to my data tab and simply choose sort smallest to largest. So you can sort data in a pivot just like it sort data anywhere else. I do need to make one more change though. I said I wanted to see the sales just for 2015 and 2016. So I now also want to filter this data. And you can filter by column or row label. If I come to my column labels and come across to date filters, you will see I get all the rich filter options I would have when I normally filter the data. I don't need to do any of those though, so I'm just going to come down to select all, uncheck, and I'm going to choose 2015 and 2016 and say OK. And there's my summary. Let's say, for example, I only want to see sales for Western Australia and Victoria. If I click my little auto filter button, I can unselect New South Wales, say OK, and now it's filtering the data both by column and row label. To clear a filter, you can clear all of them by clicking somewhere in your pivot table, coming up to your data tab and saying clear, or you also have a clear filter on the Pivot Table Tools Analyze behind the Clear button. I don't want to clear all the filters though, I just want to clear the one from my row label. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make this a bit wider so you can see what happens. I'm going to click my Auto Filter button and choose Clear Filter from State. And that has just cleared that filter. Let's make one more little modification. I'm going to click back onto my year and expand my group. And there are my quarterly sales for 2015 and 2016 by region sorted from smallest to largest. 
So we've now seen how you can focus on subsets of the data by using your group, sort and filter tools.